Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today I'll be doing a little, another experiment, and now this is, uh, I'm calling it a flying car, because as you can see, I have my brushless ZMR 50 quad, um, and then I just used some string, as you can see there, and I basically tied it down to my Dromeda MT 4.18, which is a 1 18th scale ground vehicle, so, you know, so you can drive along and then take off. Um, and now it's an experiment because, as, as you can see, this thing is really heavy. Um, just that has 80 weight shock oil, and the back just it goes all the way down in the front, and it won't come back up at all. Um, and now, like probably because of that, my biggest concern is the weight. I don't know this. I mean, these are 5040 Jam Fam props with um, 1806 DYS motors, so it it has a lot of power, but it's not. I don't know. It just, this feels, it's really heavy. It's like maybe five pounds, I don't know. And I've got a Turnigy 3-cell 1.3 um, amp battery up there, 45 to 90 C. So, and by this by itself, the quad has tons of power. It's just a blast to fly, and it's like a rocket. It goes 40 miles an hour. Um, but the, I don't know, with this added weight of the car. And I originally had it only strapped down with the front and back, but then it could still wiggle side to side. So I put these side braces on, and now it, it's... It's pretty much in there. It still wiggles a little bit, but it's mostly um, good in there. Um, and if you haven't seen my review of either of these, the quad and the car or truck, I'll, I'll link them down below. But yeah, I just, I don't know. It just looks so weird. But if this does work, that'll be so awesome. I, I just have a feeling that it's not going to work, though. Um, but yeah, competition for Bego Beyond, their flying car. Got my own, so... Yeah, let's go try it out and see if it works, which I don't think it will. Okay, here we are outdoors with this uh, flying car that I made my little contraption. I've got both radios bound up, um, the car and the quad. So I'm going to start off and try to just drive it by itself. So let's see. Yep, we got steering. Uh-oh. It's not letting me give throttle, really. What the? I think the weight may be too much. Let me try and arm this. And then give some throttle, take some weight off maybe. Now let's try it. No, my car's not. Huh. I don't know, maybe they're interfering. I'll try shutting off the car. And I'll try to fly here. See, I'm at half throttle, and it, it picked the weight up. 75%? That was 100% throttle, so it got off just enough in the ground effect. So let's try again. Oh my gosh, that was 100% throttle. Let's try and roll it. Oop, one of my uh, strings came off and got cut. Oh man, I'll just take that off. We don't need that support. Nope. Let me get that off. There we go. Now I can get rid of that. Let's try and see if I can just roll it. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is crazy. I'm having to use full throttle. Full throttle. So it can kind of jump up, and that's a full battery there. Maybe I wonder, let me real quick take out the battery on the car, because that is quite a big, heavy nickel metal hydride battery. So I maybe if I take that out, I might be able to get it up. Somewhat. Okay, let's try that. Oh my gosh. Full throttle. Oh, full throttle. Full throttle. Oh, that's it. Full throttle. Let's try and drive it some. Ooh. Ooh. Man, that just kind of... Ooh flipped over but 
uh, doesn't look like damage to the props occurred really. Yeah, it can't stay up, but when the voltage sags back down after the 90C, it can't keep up. Aw, oh, it doesn't really work. Not a 100% failure, though. Oh, man. I don't want to break anything. It's like a soft landing feet for it. Go! Go! Oh. It's staying up. Full throttle. Oh, man. And a rolling landing. Stop. <laughs> okay, I guess that's all I'm gonna do, so... That was sort of a fail, I guess. This thing probably weighs at least five pounds. I'm actually kind of surprised it lifted it at all. But on full throttle, it did uh, manage to get it off the ground there a little bit. Um, just flying at the car, I had to take the battery out to get it up, like, higher than a few feet. But uh, maybe with stronger props, I mean, definitely um, my motors and ESCs and just stuff, it's not very high quality. I'm sure with Cobra motors you can do it, or T-motors. But um, yeah, that was the end of the video. Please subscribe if you don't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.